What's up guys? So today I have for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and it has been a little over one month since I got my hands on this device and today I will be sharing my experience with you and whether or not I can recommend it to you if you're interested in picking it up. So let's get started. So if you follow my channel, then you would know that the most important aspect in any phone for me is the cameras. So the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus has a really nice camera setup. So it has a triple camera setup, as you can see. And we have a main 50 megapixel sensor, and I will put the rest of the specs on screen for you to see. So, you, uh, uh, <clears throat> so I will let you look at that. And even though these cameras may not have the necessarily highest specs in the world like the Galaxy S24 Plus's 2000 megapixel sensor or crazy like 5 or 10x telephoto zoom they still do really great photos and videos and they just got an update that improves the shutter speed and I will put up some uh, pictures so you guys can see like of me moving around with the phone like I've taken a lot of pictures to see like how like, the blurriness is because why have good shutter speed if you can't take good photos and I'll also put up just some regular photos on the screen and we also have a 10 megapixel selfie camera I forgot to throw that in there so let's get to those photos and then we'll get back to the review okay so the photos that you're seeing right here are of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and I was moving my hand really fast and I know it kind of seems like choppy it was doing a really good job with capturing capturing a bunch of different um, pictures and some of them are kind of blurry but obviously this isn't all of the photos that I took and I was moving my hand like super fast and I think it did a really good job let me know what you think down in the comments let's get to some other photos Okay, and another really important thing for me is just like the looks and like design and obviously clearly durability of this phone. So the Galaxy S24 Plus, as I'm sure you might know by now, has a more um, flat or yeah, more like flatter, boxier finish with a slightly rounded corner so it doesn't feel like uncomfortable like it's jabbing in your skin or anything so it's a super comfortable overall phone and this plus is like literally the perfect size for like one-handed use it's like literally the best size like for a phone like the ultra was just too boxy and like chunky for me so i didn't quite like it but i do love this s24 plus and also for durability um it's great we have corning gorilla glass victus 2 on front and back so durability is definitely not going to be an issue. And we have armor aluminum on the sides and it is um, like matte or is that what they call it? Like a matte, like textured on the sides and back. So it feels super premium this year. So yeah, durability and design has been great. It's been super comfortable. And this size is just the best size that you can get for a smartphone. And just for features. So the main thing that, you know, everyone's talking about is Galaxy AI. So I probably don't use Galaxy AI as much as some people might, but the ones that I do use a lot, even if it's just for fun, is the new Circle Search, just because it's so easy. Oh, come on. Just because it's so easy, and it just works. Like, there's nothing that's, like, wrong with it. Like, I do... Okay, I don't know if I would call it AI, though, because it re really is just prompting like a Google lens search on your screen. So maybe not necessarily AI, but it's definitely still a really nice feature. And then I use like chat assist for some of conversations for with people who don't speak the same language as I do. So that's also super nice. And just like uh, object eraser and like the like photo reimaginer to like put different stuff. Like, I don't know, for instance, like move something, an object from here to there. Like you can do that using AI. And it's just super cool to be able to use it. And just to have all these nice AI features right on device. And also like writing styles, I do use that sometimes. So yeah, for Galaxy AI, it's definitely something I use and that I love. And then for the software experience, so the Galaxy S24 Plus comes with One UI 6.1. And it is a great software with it just having a lot more rounded uh, like animation, not rounded, but like more uh, fluid animations and just it makes the phone feel way better and actually more like an iPhone now, which is really nice. And I love this new always on display, as you can see. 
it like artful, as Apple says, it artfully dims your wallpaper into a always on display. Um, it looks more like you can actually see the picture in person, probably because I have my studio lights on, so it looks kind of weird on camera. But yeah, I love that feature just so it makes your phone look a lot more modern. And just from my like experience with the Galaxy S24 Ultra and, or S24 Plus, and now just from my experience with the Galaxy S24 Plus, I can definitely recommend it to you. It's a great solid phone, like I said earlier, with a nice design, really stable build, great cameras, and just all around a great phone for its price of $999. And yeah, definitely can recommend you to pick it up. And yeah, so that is my review for this device. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. And also checking out some of my other videos on this phone or even any other ones. And thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. And I will see you then.